we brought out the slogan, Return to Glory, and found it quite fitting. Uh, kind of gave everyone a cause, a purpose, an end result. And uh, as an organization, we feel we've fulfilled that dream. To the players at his dogs, once a dog, always a dog. Thank you dearly in our quest to return to glory. The ride was amazing. And uh, as the saying goes, I'd rather lose with winners than win with losers. And we're all winners, fellas. Thanks for a great season. You know, when, um, you know the fans, like uh, Ted said, we appreciate the support. It's a big deal in like, the playoffs. It was just it was amazing to have that like, type of support. Um, and I've been all the other races. And we've been to the Thunder Bay where the boys when we get there at afternoon games. There's a, you know, not even family and friends, just a friend. And I, call it, one or two people. And it's just like a super, super quiet. And muzzle in there. There's just nothing going on. It's just a treat to come to our rink. And, you know, as well like any professional team, we have the music, you have the fans, you have some chance, you have some light, the people got the penalty box I heard. Once in a while. It was it was a fun year, it was my first track coaching in this level. Um, you know, like Vinny had said, there's a lot of ups and downs, peaks and valleys and and um, it was just a great experience for myself to do it in a town like Dryden. Uh, with the history of being the, you know, one of the original teams that's still here, so something is, is being done right uh, through the city. The city has to be proud of, of the X Dogs, and, and hopefully, like I said, every coach that comes through, every player is hoping to build something, a piece of this organization. So when they move on, they can always come back and check out an X Dogs game or go online. Know that they were part of uh, building this program to where it is today. So thanks again, thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. This is a uh, guy that's. Uh, I think he was, I had no clue what he was doing his first trip <laughs> off the drive. Um, and he really became, I think, a, a, an integral part of the community. Community service is a big part of any, it doesn't matter if it's a hockey team, a business, or whatever it may be. It's a big to have guys like this that are always first volunteer, always, uh, you always see your name on the sign up sheet. And they're not doing it for anything but because they want to do it. Uh, they, they really ingrain themselves in, in, in the fabric of the community. No better uh, example than Kyle Hacks. Uh, Most Improved is a nice award. Uh, this is a guy that everyone that I met through the town that it was a fan of the team to a man that pretty much said, well, he's really improved. Um, he's done a lot this year. He's made a few strides and really uh, turned into a really solid contributor to the organization. And I'll, I don't think it's any surprise, but the Andrew Hansen and most of the guys. Take the body hand. <laughs> uh, this award is working of the year. Uh, once again, part of the surprise. The kid that uh, came out of the school team was uh, 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 learned the junior high of the game and, and did it in the top league. But he really excelled from Christmas on. I thought he was probably one of our, our most effective forwards and, and just an uh, inspirational player for fans to watch, for, for guys in the locker room, and just a really good teammate, good kid. was a pleasure to coach. So, uh, Benny?
Uh, the next one is most sportsman like uh, this one was another guy that um, you know he was I thought just a good locker room guy, inspirational to his teammates. He's always the guy in the middle of everything and and uh, just a pleasure to have in the locker room. So uh, Lighty, Justin Eiffel. Now we got two ladies on the team. <laughs> Defensive of the year. Um, once again, a guy that's through by leaps and bounds on and off the ice uh, in terms of as a player, as a leader, I believe. And, and uh, it was a pleasure to coach, to watch everyone uh, I talked to, all the other teams, I great thing to say about them. Uh, I think they're wishing to fight a bit more this year to get him off the ice, but uh, uh, fortunately for us, he's, he's a guy that's a hell of a putting box in the hat. Uh, and also the result on the defensive end really improved and, and uh, he has some more room to grow without the money. So with uh, John Mitchell, please come up. Here. We have a picture, we have the league award here to us in the This is for a uh, top score. Uh, I probably get down this at home. <laughs> <laughs> This is obviously uh, Birdie's uh, last year, so uh, what better way to go out uh, on top in terms of a for the team? These guys uh, was a huge, I felt just a huge piece of the puzzle this year, and, and I know he enjoyed coming back, and uh, he led the way on off the ice, so appreciate the player and all that. Uh, this was another one where, you know, it was uh, players voted on it, I think. Um, you know, as coaches, there's a few guys who could definitely chose for this, but obviously there can only be one. I just say the movie right under, but as um, uh, so a team MVP, is a guy that that's uh, really did a lot for us this year in different areas uh, on the ice as well, and was always there to help out. Um, never seemed to have a bad day on the ice. I always enjoyed being around the rink, and I know as coaches we appreciate uh, every all these guys, but this individual never stopped working, never stopped trying. And, was the one other player that, that a lot of fans always saw all the guys never saw. She's always getting a great effort. So, Kyle, hi. <laughs> Grandma sewed all these striped tablecloths, so she probably still can't see. Uh, this is for playoff MVP. That's a kid that is probably not a huge surprise. He he did a great job from um, you know once the puck dropped for the playoffs. He thought he was determined to be a difference maker. And, and uh, be a big part of this team and, and get us as far as we can go. So, uh, Benny and McCollum, please talk. Uh, a couple of years ago, we lost a good friend of ours and Murray Aitis. And the Ice Dogs are proud to announce this year that we've renamed the Coach of the Award one of the biggest awards the Murray Aitis Memorial Award. Uh, this, uh, this award is to a kid, you know, you're joking about me. <laughs> this, this is to a kid that all year just was not ever have to worry about him off the ice, on the ice. I always knew his effort was going to be there. Um, you know, off ice work ethic, you know, exceptional. On ice work ethic, same thing. Just always. You know, a good voice in the room, a good voice off the ice. Um, a lot of times when things were going right it's on the ice, it's just something he would do. It, the symbols of plays are just a big hit, something that would get the best going. Uh, never heard him complain once about anything, about uh, tough times. Uh, it's always pretty even deal, whether the times are good or bad. You know you're getting the same effort. And, you know, what was hard on his sleeve, uh, he, he's a guy, that's, um, like I said, I think very inspirational to a lot of guys. As a coach, a pleasure to have in the locker room, a pleasure to coach day in and day out, and just a great kid. So, uh, Spencer here, come on. Way to go, Spenny.